Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, I had some issue. I don't know. I shut the stream down for a second. I turned the stream back on. Uh, it took a minute to kind of get itself together. And then it let me stream again. So, um, I'm not sure what the last thing was that you saw. Um, we did just win the Holy War for this duchy against the Hispanian Revolt. <clears throat> Can I vassalize this guy? No, he says. False religion. And I am a king, he says. I don't really want to fight him just now either, because this is a real low priority area for me. Um, what do we get? What do we get? Man, we do not have enough ships, do we? We do not have very many ships at all. I can upgrade the city shipyard to plus eight. Let's do that. For only 122 gold. Everything is so cheap. Everything is so cheap here to upgrade. I guess I never really realized that before. But we're definitely going to be putting in... Um, Some more money into developing our capital. Let's go to Bethune. No. I kind of want to switch these to cities. And I kind of want to get control of this back. So I think the best way to switch these to cities is actually to build a city in them make the city my capital, and then put the barony down below. For these few baronies that I have. So I'm at a thousand gold right now. Let's build a city here. Wait, is that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. Let's hold off on that for a little bit. Which of these is the smaller one. That one's the smaller one, so the bigger one we're gonna walk up to here. And the smaller one we're gonna get on boats. Okay, he's got wealth again. Let's land these guys. Make them raiders and send them back this way. We're going to sack Venice. Settlers reach Greenland. The new land discovered to the west of Iceland does indeed seem to be a new island. Under the leadership of Eric the Red, who was banished from Iceland for murder, settlers have claimed land on the island's southwestern shores. To attract more colonists, Eric's has cleverly decided on promising name of Greenland for this untamed virgin land. This new colony has already started exporting walrus ivory, seal blubber, and furs to Iceland and beyond. Apart from brave Norse settlers, Greenland so far seems to be devoid of human life. Greenland, is it? I think this is the beginning of the Aztec arrival. Ooh, he has left the defensive pact. This one guy, this one independent county, I can claim Rakesha for my courtier, but I just don't care. Let's just leave him. OVR is in charge. Let's land in there. Let's check.
that these are all as good as they can be. Good. So she never did change. Uh, let's make sure that they are all on house arrest. I need something else in my life and I lose greedy so I've been the filk here for 26 years I really feel like I should holy war for Andalusia right away but we're gonna sack the shit out of Venice Let's check the women again. Okay, yeah, we got quite a few, including a West African. But an attractive West African. There's a strong woman there too. Let's mark that. Mark that. And where were we? Right down to here. Oops, she was ugly. I didn't mean to invite her. I think I estimated we needed something like 50 women. Where is she? Where's the one that was accidentally ugly?
so far so good. That sucks, her elders got cancer. I go too far? Yeah. That's the one I wanted to make leave. Where is she at? Where'd it go? Yeah, I changed my mind. Can you just get the hell out of here? See ya. Now, where were we? <sighs> Forget where we were. Somewhere around here, I think. Right on. Now, actually, she's not pregnant. Do I want to take... Hmm. One of these ones, these strongs? Oh, I don't know. Let's just keep moving along the way we're doing. Yeah, now we're out of the young ones, and these are the these are the high values that we were looking at. So, are there, do we have any high value fellas? Yeah, we do. We got one. Let's give him the strong. Good. Anyone else? This fella here is quick. So we're gonna give him the attractive. And the quick. Okay. Was there anyone up here that wasn't married? No, I guess we're done. We're done that for now. What do we got there? Only 137? <laughs> These troublesome peasants. Damn. Well. Oh, look, we got another one, Prince of Denmark. This one right here, we could send a gift and get him.
Oh, there's a lot in our dynasty, isn't there? There should really be a maybe. Not like a yes, no, any, but a yes, no, maybe. Nice. That's a lucky roll. Poor Rika. County Evo. Where is this? Down here? Why do they keep giving away people to not their dynasty? I can't figure it out. Nice. So I got Ravager. That was a bit late. What are we on now? The temple? We're losing them all over the place. Let's go back to our capital. Let's check that hospital. So we go translation house 0 0.04, pilgrims in. All this stuff is good. We're going to be building all of it. Especially, I mean, this one here, plus two temple vassal opinion and disease resistance. Let's start here. 490. the scheme. Scrote Lord says, you're the second streamer today I've seen playing as a Merchant Republic Filkir or Emperor of Scandinavia. That's interesting. Um, I think it's a pretty a pretty strong campaign. Uh, I was definitely struggling with the fact that I made a big error in judgment because of a um, patrician elective. I don't have the option to um, have restricted inheritance, so I or pardon me, regulated inheritance, so I can't go to imperial administration. I wasted a lot of time and effort working on that. Um, but yeah, it's cool that someone else is doing it. I have a second campaign I'm working on, where I am trying to go uh, West African Berber Merchant Republic. I just started that yesterday for fun. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Scrote Lord. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm around 985. I started in 769. We've been doing this for about 200 years now. Wait, is this a revolt? Oh my goodness, it is a revolt. An African revolt. It's a revolt against Africa. What's his war score? Can I get troops there fast enough? I, mean, I probably could. Let's see here. Oh, this is going to go really fast. I actually think I like the, the West African a little bit better than the Germanic Pagan. I feel like because it's weaker, it's a little bit more interesting. You don't get to just face roll. Like, I'm... I'm feeling pretty strong. I'm gonna actually, let's correct that. Let's talk about how strong I am. We're at 4876 right now. Um, and I feel strong because I've got 13k in retinues. However, 
I think I'm gonna have an Aztec evasion in the next 15 years um, because we're playing with delayed random Aztec invasion and when that shows up I'm not gonna feel so strong anymore and yes I do turn off cultural dynasty name for titles I don't always do it but I decided to do it this time um, because I can't figure out sometimes I don't know. I just figured I'd give it a shot, right? I guess I shouldn't say I can't figure out sometimes. I already know what the... God damn it. Little Pogier. Athmunso. Oops, let's get back to Venice here. No. All the way back up to the top, please. Okay, yeah, we can do two here real easy. Are there any other throwaways here. Oh, there's an 18. Perfect. So we've got another, um, oh, there's like 10. <laughs> the letter, the letter, that letter is actually pronounced like a th. All right. Thank you. I, I think I looked that up one time and I keep forgetting. So, or it may have been something else. But I will pronounce that as th. This is the most tedious part of my playthrough right now. Is getting all these ladies into court. I think it's probably also the most boring part to watch. But it is what it is. Alright, and there's an 18. I'm going to invite her as well. I'm just going to go back and let's check if any of them... Oh, there's one. So a fielder will have to check out. Rog Free will have to check out. She's fine, they're fine. Alright, so with this bunch, it looked like there was two that were betrothed. And as they come in, we'll just break those betrothals. Okie dokie. Oh, nice. What am I going to get here? Looks like it was economy. Mmm. What do I want to do with that? Probably trade practices, eh? That kind of seems like it's a no brainer. Gets me two more. Ooh, let's see if the key fit. Ten gold. What do you do? Uh, the most tedious part of my playthrough right now is when I use Turkish Invasion cast a spell and then I have to revoke every single title in a kingdom and redistribute them to vassals of my religion and culture. Playing as a Seljuk Zoros, Zoroastrian. Yeah. Uh, I have definitely had tedious moments like that before. I have a campaign that's on YouTube where I play as a uh, Scottish Cathar and as I switched from Catholic to Cathar the religious revocations and the wars that we had to fight it was like 50 years of nightmare um, let alone like the clicking and the clicking and the clicking 
Anyway, we did get all of those women in. There's a couple of stragglers here that popped in since the last time I checked. We'll go back to this filter and we're just going to go down the list, making sure that all the gaps are filled. Boom, boom. So we're really abusing this new offer concubine mechanic. And what we're kind of doing with it is we're inviting, whenever possible, uh, men of my dynasty into my court. And we are filling them. Oh, here's one. Here's one. And we are filling them. Uh, we're making sure they're married. We're making sure they have three concubines. So, they have lots of little children, and then some of the girls grow up into women, and some of the boys grow up into men, and the men give me more trading posts, and the women we just keep marrying to other men. Um, but of course, because we always run into women, we have to invite so many courtiers over and over and over and over again. Now, when I eventually have every single man who's of age in my court married with a concubine then we're going to start going to our dynasty rulers in our realm and offering them concubines as well uh, also lets you get rid of all your female prisoners without executing them yes I use it for that too um, in fact we ha now have um, some Sayed and Mirza Ooflings um, in our dynasty because of uh, various Muslim women that we have conquered. In fact, I've got a tricky thing going on right now. I'll tell you what my plan is. It's, uh, it's like a 20 year plan. Um, I abducted a little girl. Oh my god, this 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 is gonna put me on some kind of a list with the way that I'm phrasing this. But <laughs> I did exactly that. I abducted a little girl whose mother had a weak inheritable claim on the Byzantine Empire. And I've got that little girl in prison. Where is she? She's marked here somewhere. Oh, maybe I didn't mark her. She's in prison. I'll find her in a second. Anyway, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to marry her into my dynasty. And hopefully we're going to get her um, to pass that claim along. Right? And when it's passed along, do I even have any more regulars? 29, 41, sure, that's a fit. Now we've got some high value people left here. Not this one and not that one. But these two are high value. This one's mine. So let's give him this one. Now we're all the way up to Freyer. So we only have, I don't know, like 12 more people to go through and check. Let's look at my intrigue screen for the women. It's one of these girls here. Here it is, Kale. Let's throw a mark on her after all. So her mother, right here, who's the Duchess of Ulster, her daughter, now she's got a weak inheritable claim on the Byzantine Empire, right? I've got her daughter in prison. When her daughter comes of age, we're going to take her as a concubine and hopefully have a weak claim that will pass it along. No, it, it's, it's, it's an inheritable claim, see? 
like I chose my target very carefully, it can be inherited by the successor. Um, on like this weak claim, which will not be inherited unless pressed in war, this one was a strong claim rot, whereas this was a weak claim rot. So this little girl here will say weak claim cannot be inherited unless pressed in war, but I'm going to press her claim, right? Uh, I'm going to press her claim and I will probably, I don't know, siege like 30 or 40 percent war score and then white peace, right? And then that claim will be inheritable and uh, then the child who's in my dynasty will have a weak claim which can be pressed and that's the one which will go all the way with the war. So we won't press her claim all the way, but we'll press it and we'll conquer enough that we can get a white piece. And then it's Gucci, right? Now, here's why I even wanted to do that. Because the Byzantine Empire has, in its realm laws, which I'm not sure I can actually check anyway, but they have uh, imperial administration. So if I press that claim, Um, oh, you know what? I think I have to do it twice. I think I have to do that twice. I think it's a two-step process. I need to make sure that Kale inherits her weak claim. It gets passed on to someone in my dynasty who's going to be in my court. I have to press that weak claim to make sure... Well, I mean, maybe I don't have to make it inheritable or not. As long as the claim ends up on a member of my dynasty, I can elect them. And then once they're elected, and I have control of that, and then my player character has the weak claim, then we'll press it against the Byzantine Empire. That's that's how it's gonna go. Now if we can get control of the Byzantine Empire, and if we can see if they still have um, imperial administration, we're just gonna destroy Scandinavia, and we'll play as Byzantine. And that'll be what we'll do. So I know that was, in fact,